An ancient and enormous ice shelf, equivalent in size to 11,000 football fields, has broken free from Canada's Arctic region. It is the largest event of its kind to happen in that area in 30 years. But some scientists say it's only the beginning. They predict big changes for the Arctic, and they point to unusually warm temperatures as the cause. ABC's Bill Blakemore has more. No one was there to see it happen less than 500 miles from the North Pole, but satellite cameras caught it. An immense chunk of ice, 41 square miles, attached to land for thousands of years, broke off, say scientists, in just over an hour and floated out into the Arctic Ocean. The collapse of the Isles ice shelf was so powerful, earthquake monitors picked it up more than 150 miles away. For that to uh, fracture off in the space of an hour and a half is indeed, uh, I think, quite startling. Maybe things are occurring at a greater rate than what we have uh, been accustomed to seeing. It was one of only six ice shelves left in Canada. All melting, say scientists, due to global warming. As the average global temperature goes up, there's less and less sea ice here in the Arctic. More and more of this open water. As the white ice melts back, there's less of it to reflect the warm sunlight back into space. More dark open water soaking up the sun's heat. These ice shelves are floating on water, and as that water gets warmer, it weakens or erodes the ice shelves from underneath. The Arctic is changing, and it's changing in significant ways. Scientists say entire ecosystems under the ice, including some of Earth's most exotic creatures, are greatly threatened. New shipping lanes are melting open. It potentially opens up the possibility of using the Northwest Passage for commercial transits. That's the fabled Northwest Passage connecting the North Atlantic to the Pacific, sought by explorers since Sir Francis Drake and Henry Hudson. Part of the changing face of an Arctic that scientists expect will keep on melting. Bill Blakemore, ABC News on the Arctic Ocean.